Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and finish working on this um, fall altered book junk journal. Gosh, sorry. I live on a, I wouldn't say busy street, but <laughs> seems like every time I try to film something and my windows are open, all the traffic goes by. <laughs> um, okay, so last time I was trying to finagle something with this uh, bookmark that I just ended up turning into a bookmark. Um, it actually fits really well as a bookmark and not in a pocket. Uh, so keeping it like that. And literally all I changed was um, I just re removed the knot. Um, and then I removed, there were these, two of these wooden beads, one on top and one on the bottom of those. And, um, just taking those off made all the difference, I think. So, um, now it's really cute. And actually, when you have it in here like this, I like that you can see the yellow along with these other colors that are on the, um, cover. So, yay! Yay! <laughs> Um, I might need to shut the window if it's going to be this noisy. Um, so, okay, so this is where we left off, right? Yes, so um, I need to keep working and, um, yeah, keep decorating. So let's figure out what we want to do here. Um, we haven't used very many of these. Actually, we've got, you know, things like this, and then there's another bigger one like this. Maybe this one. Let's do this one here. And I'll just um, paper clip this one in. Uh, or should we put it on the other side? Uh, no, we'll put it here. This will work. Just put it down here towards the bottom. Okay, and then I kind of feel like one of these stickers might be kind of nice over here up in the corner or something. So, actually this one right here is maybe kind of perfect. So let's go with this. Um, sorry for the last video. I I was talking more quietly than I suppose usual. Um, and when I was re-watching it, I was like, oh, I keep having to turn the sound up. So I'll try not to do that today as much, um, if I can remember <laughs> to. So, um, I don't wear a microphone. I probably should, but... I don't know, I just kind of feel like most, mostly my, the sound on my videos aren't too bad, so, um, being tethered to the phone is, if I don't have to be, <laughs> I think a better situation for me, so, <laughs> let's, let's maybe hopefully go with that and see if that'll work okay, so. Alright, well, I think just up, upright, oh, you know what else we could do? I haven't been using these. Or, better yet, I haven't really been putting these down. Well, I really like this one. It says, we are all broken. That's how the light gets in. Um, that's really nice, actually. I could do that as a belly band, maybe, right there. Um... If I were a sunbeam, the softest light I'd shed. I was kind of maybe hoping to find something a little shorter that might fit up in here. This just says be a light, which could work too. That's nice. Stay close to those who feel like sunlight. I think that's too long too. Should have put this down first. Let's see. Oops. Whatever makes you feel the sun from the inside out. Chase that. But these are the days we dream about. Yeah, that's too long too. Okay, so let's just go with this first one and I'll turn it into uh, a belly band. And then we'll have to find something else to stick in there. <laughs> I've got plenty. Um, I feel like I should probably put one more clue. Um, I've got plenty of cute little envelopes and stuff, so. Let's see if I can find one that'll fit. Ooh, actually, one of these file folders might be kind of, nope, too wide. Oh, mm, too wide. <laughs> it's not dry yet. Put that back. 
Okay, so something that's not as wide <laughs> as this. <laughs> um, and don't worry, uh, there's a, a lot of this stuff is left, like I haven't used tons and tons in this journal, and that's for a reason. I pl am planning to do at least one more journal, if <laughs> not two. I mean, I've got plenty here to kind of use, so I think all of these are too big. Yep, that's too big too. And that's just a tuck spot. So, I guess we won't do that idea and maybe I'll find something else over here instead. I could do this little butterfly actually. That's really pretty. Should we do that? Just do two of those on the same page? I like that a lot. Uh-huh. I think yes. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> that page is done. Okay, so I left these kind of sticking out so that I would remember that they're in there, first of all. And we need to add some kind of um, tab to them. So we've got this pink, which is just gorgeous. I love it so much. And we've got, that's too, not, that's not good. I'm wondering we combine those two colors together what would that look like or well that's really pretty maybe let's do that instead I'll combine the pink with the ivory oh I almost forgot we have those oh we could do okay well I'll keep that for some something else we've got I'll, I'll just put this front and center in front of me <laughs> so I don't forget. Okay, so I'm just going to trim these in half and then we'll make them look cute um, on each little card here. So let's put this one down first. please <laughs> before before my glue dries probably should take all these and go to the um, sewing machine and just kind of do some finishing touches okay just kind of do a little messy thing here just do that. I might just do a quick zigzag stitch over these. So, okay, so we put the ivory down first on that one. Let me do pink first on this one. down on the space available but oh well and then you know what I could do that would be really cute I'm gonna sew these really quick and then I'm thinking um, we could do like some little buttons or something up there so okay let me do this really quick and then I'll be right back okay well I'm gonna take this out because it's, it's already getting on my nerves but I will not forget about it we'll just set it right there okay Back to this page, which is where we left off. So, cuteness, yes. And then now, um, what can we add? We've got all kinds of cute things. We've got, mm -mm, I don't like that, but I do maybe like this. And then maybe something like that over here. And then on this one, we could do this cute little wooden bead. And I've got a little 
dangly something. Yep. Okay. So how do I want to, I don't think I want to, I'm going to cut this off again and do like I did the one on the cover or the other first one. <laughs> I have no idea where the back went flying to, but I heard it and it's across the room. <laughs> okay. I'm going to file this down. Okay. So filed it and then some, <laughs> so I'm just gonna add some fabric tack glue to the back and that'll stick nice and well. Uh, I really need to refill my fabric tack glue cause it's running on empty. <laughs> well, sort of almost empty. Okay. Let's tuck that down into there. And then what's the front? Maybe that. Well, I like this side better, but this side has more decoration. So I guess this would be the back. I'll stick the, this one down. like so. Cuteness. And I don't mind that the sari silk is kind of shading that a little bit. Okay, so I need a little bit more twine because I think I ran out. Um, but actually, I just saw um, I've got thread this color, which might be kind of interesting. I'll take a piece of this too. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. Maybe let's make a little nest with it, maybe, to set the B the button on top of. mess with that. <laughs> I don't know if you can even see it. It's so small. And then I'll make a little, maybe do a bow tie on this one. Okay. Now back to what I think I was trying to do here. So what I could do maybe is put my glue down and then somehow kind of arrange this in a way <laughs> on the back of the glue. I don't know. This might become a huge mess. Well, I might have just done this the worst way possible. <laughs> but there it is. Um, okay, so let's push that down cute though. I like the contrasting color. It's really interesting. And then we've got ourselves a little bit of a charm. So put this in kind of at a slant maybe. Sorry. Um, okay, so let's see if I can get this to go into the pocket. <laughs> I'm dropping everything. There. Okay. So this will slide in like so. placement of this wasn't the best. Move that over just a little bit. There. So that the button will sit in the notch area. 
And then that can kind of flip flop however it wants to flip flop. All right, and then this. And hopefully fit in that little notch area. Okay, so those will sit up a little bit, but actually that's kind of nice and cozy right there. So I might change the position of this a little bit or just move it and do something different altogether. We'll see. Um, as it is now, it's not bad, but it's not quite what I had in mind. Uh, okay, so I feel like should we do another little... Another little sticker. Let's stay home. Let's stay home, guys. I agree. Oh, I've got a blockage. Let's see, where's my... space left. Actually, I think we could also, let's just go ahead and add another um, pocket or something. How about this guy? He's been hanging out, being all nice and cute. Um, what can we put in there? way too small. What am I thinking? Let's try these instead. That's upside down. Actually, maybe these are supposed to go into this one. I betcha. How much you want to bet? Sure are. Okay, well, let's put that one in there. And then I'm just going to paper clip this, this guy on. You know what, I might move this charm down here instead. Actually, yes, let's do that. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do, yes. Let's turn this into a cute little something. I have um, a paper clip like this only with um, this polka dot on my planner to mark my page. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It's really, really cute. So, okay. So this can go. I like that. I wonder if it's too much sticking out though. Yep. <laughs> that sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't it? <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, well, that idea was a good one, but maybe not quite what we wanted it to be. I'll still paper clip this in, but um, maybe I'll just... Maybe we'll just rework this, and we'll still put this on the page, but... Um, Crunch it up like we've done all the others. Or not. <laughs> or just stick it on there and let it do what it wants to do. <laughs> I'm move it out just a little bit. Okay. Now. I'm going to take this guy off of here. <laughs> Sticky. And we're going to put that over here instead. Maybe.
And let's stick that back inside. Like that. And then I feel like we probably should we do two? Oh, that's too much. Too much polka dot? Is there such a thing? No. And now we're getting away from the cozy feeling that we've created. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna keep it at that and then we can do this. There we go. I'm still not 100% sold on this one, but uh, it's actually not too bad. I It might need a little bit more to hang on to, but eh, I think it'll be fine, though. We'll see. I'll think about it. <laughs> okay. So, got a nice big spread here for writing, so I'm going to leave that alone. And then this has a little bit of something on it. You know, we haven't really done something like this where we did this, but I don't really want to do paper clips on both sides. So actually instead, maybe we can take one of these and turn this into a tuck spot over here. If it fits, let's see. It's gonna be a tight fit, but I think we can do it. it. Doesn't match perfectly, but it's not too bad. Let's see. This might be better. Or why don't I have more of this kind? This one might be better. just thinking about what I could potentially use so okay well I guess I've got doubles of some of this stuff oh you know what we could tuck this down into that that's that's what I needed okay so let's glue this guy down and turn that into a tuck spot or a pocket I mean up very carefully. I'm going to try and get it as far over to the left as I can without getting off the page because I don't want a ton of stuff in the spine here if I can help it. Okay, so there's that. Now I've got a few things here that we could use to decorate with, like like a button on a card and that's not going the right direction this would be cute I like those two things let's go ahead and do that hmm. let's see this is extra from what is this from oh from the cover fabric um, so it's kind of in a funny shape, but I thought we could maybe use this within the journal somehow. So I think maybe this might be a good spot. Okay. cover up some of that, but that's okay. And then, um, what colors do we have over here? How about, I keep trying to use this P 
peachy orange color. A bit of that and a bit of this. Covered up a lot of that there, didn't I? Let's do that. There we go. Okay. Now, there. Let's put that down like that. Maybe my fabric. No, I'll use the art glitter glue. Maybe. I haven't used this in a while. There's writing on this too. I can't hardly make it out. I think that's the right way. Oh, sorry. I keep talking so quietly. I'm so sorry. Talk louder now. All right. That there. And then we've got this guy. It says pumpkins. We've got, ooh, autumn. I like this one. Autumn works better. Do a little distressing. Okay, where to put it? There, put it there, right there. And that way you can still do a little something on there if you wanted to. Okay, put this away. And then here's my little file folder. We can stick right in there. And then if you want, you can add your own little, well, you could write on this if you wanted to, or you could add your own little paper or whatnot that you might want to add. How cute. Okay, so that's really cute. Um, don't know if I want to add too much more, but I'm kind of feeling like I do. Oh, that's, oh. Well, that's not horrible. Let's go ahead and add that there. Why the heck not, right? <laughs> um, you know, I could turn this into a tuck spot. Let's see. This side. And then you could find a little ticket or something. To stick down in there. Like so. There we go. Cute. Okay. I'm not done. I feel like it needs more. What should we do? How about one of these little flowery stickers or two? We're gonna just gonna decorate this page like crazy. How about that? <laughs> a 
that's fine. Some pages I like over just embellishing a little bit more and then I do really like to keep a lot of space for writing though too so do a little cluster of flower flowers here there let them fall where they want to fall. There's all kinds of glue coming out. <laughs> but that'll dry um, hopefully quickly and be invisible. Okay. Well, there's that page. So, moving on. Another page. I think I'll keep this page empty also because we've just done a little bit of decorating in the last two, so don't think it needs tons and tons more um, on every page. Okay, so I think maybe on this page, should we just pick one of these and do. I'm just going to glue that straight down and that's going to finish this page off. Okay. Um, you know, we have these. Oh, that really does not go. <laughs> Don't put that there. Um, we have those, which could be fun and interesting. Or, like, even these. I don't know. I just don't feel like... I just don't think... I just don't think we need to do that. Okay. Oh, what if we did a, another label over here? Do one of those in the middle and then kind of do something on top of that like I did on the other page and that way it'll be slightly offset and not exactly lined up which is good okay for a sticker. We've got these, but I'm also thinking I haven't used tons of these others either. So, oh, how about one of these? These are so pretty. Okay, so very thankful would be good. Fall is in the air would be good. Autumn splendor, that would be good too. always be grateful. Oh, we could put that right in the middle. Now, I'll do that on another page because I don't want it to compete. Um, now that I say that, maybe we don't want words. Okay, so if we did a pumpkin, what would that look like? I could just switch this out with a different... Oh, that's a pumpkin. <clears throat> This little pumpkin. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Okay, but not completely covering.
So again, you can write on there and have it say something that you want it to say. Okay, not 100% sold on this, so I'm gonna go back to the drawing board over here, and I see these two here. It might be better. It's kind of thick is my issue with it in that little pocket there, so. Yep, I like that better. Yes. And she's got herself sell some pumpkins, so let's do this. Uh, no. <laughs> Back the way it was. Well, that just really is hiding everything. Okay. So if we put this there. We'll get it. We'll get there. <laughs> Might take a minute. Yeah. On the back side. Let's just do this. Good enough. Okay. Well, there's that page. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe stick it sideways. There we go. That's better. Okay. So we've got another empty page. We've got a lot of pages actually left to do. I think maybe I'll just keep this one empty also. So I stuck this in there. Is that really what I want to do? I don't think so. Because I think it's too small. I think it's just too small for that space. So... Um, oh, I keep forgetting we've got this cute little guy. Oh, there's another one over here. Okay, so we've got, this is that one. Maybe we'll just make another card out of the other half of that. Because I'm looking at it right here. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So let's just do that. Okay. Cut it off about there. Pull it in just a little bit. Make it a little shorter. About there. Okay. Oh, that goes there. Okay, so let's find not that one. This one would be fine. This one also would be fine. Do that one. Oh, that is not straight at all. <laughs> not width-wise or <laughs> otherwise, but I guess it's on there now. So <laughs> there, it's got a little leaf on the top, which I thought was cute because, you know, there's always a little leaf on your pumpkin. So we're just going to pretend like it's not, not straight, and it's perfect. It's great, actually, because look, the little leaf is just poking out the top there. <laughs> So, okay, I kind of feel like maybe we could turn one of these and do a little tuck spot here. That would be cute. Let's do that. And then, whoops, stay there. And then we could... something like that in there. No, I don't like that. Um, actually, she might be perfect. How about that? 
she's kind of cute too. <laughs> Miss Autumn. <laughs> sold on that to be honest I don't know why I'm so picky I swear I'm sure it's so annoying I am so sorry um but I'm just picky <laughs> because I am <laughs> this actually wouldn't be too bad Do that. Got a thankful. Yeah. Let's just do that. And then there's my cutoffs from the page. Okay, so I'm gonna call this spread done because this we basically did already over here, which is the same card, just sized differently. So let's see what's on this side. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this in here. I'm going to put my little fuzzy pom pom ball on here and then that way it can be cute on dangling on the side of the book like that see look how cute okay so there's that pull it up just a little bit there we go okay so that is a little notepad and now we have this guy in here so let's do okay Be weird to put this up oh you know what we could do we could do a page like this which I never ever do let's just do that okay so we need to glue this one down first I think I did that a little too high <laughs> Um, well, it's a little higher on the page than I would have probably normally done, but that'll be okay. And then we can glue. Let's see. I need to match that up there. There we go. Do ourselves a little double pocket. So you can stuff more ephemera in. Alrighty. So what kind of ephemera should we put in there? A little pumpkin on the top, maybe. And this one down here. And oh, we've got well, I've got stuff from different, those two different collections, so sometimes they don't really work together as well, but let's stick that in there. I don't really want to cover up the pumpkin. I think it's really cute. So, uh, should we just leave that one as it is? Let's see. that. 
There we go. Let's just do that. Should we do a little cinema down here? <laughs> Some of these just don't make tons of sense. Oh, we got this cute little pumpkin here. Let's do this. A little green pumpkin. And then for a little bit of contrast, we could add, should we do some polka dot? Is that too much? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Yes. Whoops, did I do that the right? I did that the wrong way. <laughs> okay. And then, of course, I will scrunch this up just a little bit. There. And then we can add this little guy down here. It's just a little bit of polka dot. That's what that looks like. <laughs> it's really cute. <laughs> okay, so there's that page. Now, what can we do over here? We've got these things still. We could do some tick. Tickets. Actually, let's do let's do this. Let's make this into a tuck spot here. Yep, it's getting a little chunky now, guys. <laughs> Oops, went a little crazy with the glue. I have to wipe some of that away here. Okay. So, I'll close this. <laughs> oh, I need to add some glue here in the spine. There we go. It's hopefully a little bit better. Ooh, we're getting getting there. <laughs> and take some of this string off here. There we go. Um, we're we're definitely going to need to use a closure. It's not too bad right now, but I can't be adding tons and tons more, <laughs> or, or it's just not going to work. Um, so, okay. Lazy days. I like the lazy days tear that out. Alrighty, so for this pocket, we probably should pull from that other collection, which would be the lighter colors. 
Although this might not be bad either. That's kind of pretty, actually. Um, I don't really want to use that. Oh. What about this guy? I forgot about this guy. We'll put him on another page. I think, I think I like this one. It's kind of bringing both worlds together over here. So, yep, that'll, that'll work. Okay, so here's this. Um, I think I'll leave this whole side as it is, but we could do a little something on this side. Let's do one of these stickers since we didn't do one from before. Um... Sweet Autumn. that it really makes too much difference where where I put it um but so we'll have there will be lots of writing space here on this spread so there's a better look for you the glue is still not dry so that'll be clear after the glue dries okay now so this page will be good for writing because it's actually got a solid surface on the back side. Um, and then I think I'll keep this one empty too. So some more writing there. And then we've got this tucked in there, which is good. Thankfully different from the others. Um, I think I want to do, where'd that blue? Some of this blue, maybe either on the edge or on the top somehow. Actually, maybe I like it better on the top. Um, I wonder if there is. Okay, so. What do we got in here? I think I'm going to add a hole. Well, does that even really go with... <laughs> Not really, and it doesn't go with this either, so maybe we won't do that. Okay. I do kind of want to get this incorporated somehow though, so, oh, I know what I'll do. Let me see. I've got these that are already punched with a hole. I mean, I don't know. I don't really like those together, that, those color combinations. Let's just do a little something here and come up with something. It is an absolutely gorgeous night out tonight. Um, I really should go for a walk after this. <laughs> kind of perfect out there. It's very fall and autumn-y. <laughs> okay. Just 
do a little collage of fabrics here. How about that? We put our birdies upright. <laughs> I wanted to get some more of this blue to tie in with what we have on the cover because there's a there's a little peak of it here. Oh, you know I should I should No, I think it's okay. Okay, so there's that. Now um what can we put over here to kind of finish it off? are all talking about light and I don't know that I don't know that this is like really making sense <laughs> and they're not quite the right size for this journal to be completely honest so I think I need to go a different direction okay so hmm well that's something We should do we should do a couple of pockets over here let's see Those just don't match. They just don't match. <laughs> I keep trying to do it and it's not going to work. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go back to whatever idea I had over here. So I think I had this there. That really doesn't match either. Oh, here. Here, here, here. There we go. Okay, so I'll glue this down. I need to. Okay, so let's see. I could glue this in a way that it could become uh, another tuck spot and a pocket. So that's what I will do. If you want to make your journal extra chunky, you can add more stuff to it. <laughs> So there's that. Now I'm going to move this over here and not put it quite right there. I'm going to put this little pocket. So something to fill this pocket with could be one of these. Actually, should we do the one with the other daisies on it? Would that be too much? Or the pumpkins? Okay, so um, something simple. I 
just remembered. <laughs> I get the kitnip box for my cats. Um, I think I have it set to be delivered. It's just the one for just one cat, but only every three weeks. There we go. And um, it it was delivered today. And I was busy. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to uh, really open it for them yet. <laughs> So I just laid it on the floor uh, in the living room. <laughs> Poor kitties. It's still sitting there. <laughs> Unopened. <laughs> they don't care. But they can obviously smell whatever catnip is in there. <laughs> it was really funny. They were, I was in a meeting, so they were just, you know, sniffing away and sitting on top of the box. <laughs> Rubbing all over it. <laughs> just like... Okay, guys, calm down. <laughs> Maybe she can go in there. No, she's a little too short. Oops. There we go. That's good. Okay, there's that spread. I feel like we're getting a little bit busier with our spreads here at the uh, at the end of all things. Okay, so I don't really want to use these in this journal. I'm going to keep these the rest of these for the other journals that I work on. Um. And I just used one of those, so I like this one. It says believe in the magic of harvest. And I think it looks nice just kinda in the middle of the page there. Because what's tucked in here is, you know, pumpkin-y things and harvest-like things. So that's good. Alright, so here's a closer-up look at what that's going to look like. Now, um, <laughs> she's awfully cute. Put her down there, too. mix them both styles a little bit, but I think it works. Yep, I like that better. Okay. So, there is that spread done. And now I have another empty spread. I think I'll keep, keep that because it's a little bit bulky here at this point. Um, so, let's go ahead and add something. We're at the end now where there's just these extra pages. Um, so, yeah, that got glued. Well, this is the one that is glued to that back page, so. Okay. So let's do something here.
Oh, I definitely like that. Okay, but maybe we put that on this page because this is doubled up, I think. A little bit more. Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, so let's pick one of these. That was easy. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing. Not too terrible. It's a little chunky, but it's not too bad. Um, I've got this little ball here. I've got a few little things going on. I feel like we should probably do another one kind of similar to that maybe. Here towards the end. So I'm going to keep those as they are. Let me see. Whatever makes you feel the sun from the inside out, chase that. Um, well, that would make a really good belly band right there. So I think. I want to do another, um, little collage, I guess, of, sorry, silk, and then I can decorate it in some kind of way, and then I can maybe put this over the top of it. Or we could save this for this page. I like it on that page better. Okay. I just love these colors together, these sorry silk colors. Um kind of like my favorite part of fall in a way is these colors and just the coziness of how they feel and you know nice and soft and warm and all the good feels and stuff And I'll cover that little ridge here with the other sorry silk on top of it. So the nice thing about this, when you use sorry silk like this, you don't really need much glue because it's. Oh, did I? I cut that in half. Okay, so that's half the width. little bit I think kind of needing something what does it need I did blue I don't want more blue something soft nope a little bit of polka dot maybe why not do a little bit of polka dot. And it looks like I've got enough glue that I need to add a little bit something more. <laughs> um, so let's just add a little bit more of this kind of pumpkin-y color here. There. Let me scrunch that up. Okay, so if I put this down like that around right there, So let me glue 
this down. It doesn't have to be like in the middle of the page, but I mean vertically, but it would be nice if it could be. Okay, so now let's come back over here and find something pretty and sparkly to put on top of that. So we've got, that's very fall. <laughs> it's a little, little not quite what I was thinking. That would be pretty. I think this is pretty, but it's it's just too heavy for that um, this page here. So <laughs> I'm dealing with gravity here. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of wanted though, um, whoops, something with a little bit of gold or bronze or something like that. Maybe something more like that. It's a little heavy too, though. Okay, so this is really pretty, but I don't know if it's quite right. Okay, so I do. I do like this, but I need to get rid of this back very carefully. <laughs> I'm like squinting. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that sits better now. So there's that for sure. I think, I don't think this one's gonna quite work. So I need to go back to the drawing board. Um, uh, I don't think I have anything really in here. Let's see what I can find in here. I have these. Well, maybe that could be our sun. That's an idea. I also have this. No. I'm kind of liking that idea. Um, but still not a hundred percent sold. Because I feel like we need to do something on top of that somehow. getting there. We're getting closer. <laughs> um, let's see. Let me take a few things off of this and see what I can come up with here. But here's my problem. Well, what 
what is my problem? I don't have a problem. Let's just do it. Okay. So now I gotta get it on there so that it'll hang kind of right. It's gonna be a little bumpy, but I think it'll be worth it. That's really cool. Let's this be a little further down. Yeah, put that a little further down. Kind of bridge that gap down here. I think this needs to go up just a little bit. And maybe not through the paper. Because at this point I'm going to have to cover up whatever I just did on the back side there, so. Ouch. <laughs> that was my mom, if you didn't know. <laughs> my mom just made an appearance. <laughs> Sounded just like her. <laughs> Okay. Yes. That I like better. And it'll, it'll swing kind of free and do its thing. And it's not covering up the word sun. Okay, so now we just need a little bit of glue for this guy. Whoa. <laughs> I need to address this little fabric tag situation I have going on here before I start on my next journal. Oh, please. <laughs> okay. I'll hold that down for a minute. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Well, I like how this ended up. I think this is pretty fantastic right here. Okay. Yeah, hopefully that'll stick. If it needs more security, I'll figure something out to put behind it. Okay, so now let's find a card to stick in there. <laughs> um, maybe this one. Will this one fit? Oh, very nice. Yes, it does. Okay, well, is that it? Are we finished? Let's see, what other pages do we have left to go? Yeah, I think that's kind of perfect right there. So, well, we didn't use this guy, but we got the other one on. Maybe I can stick him on the front cover or something. Okay, so what's left? We've got this page. Yeah, that's a little bit of a not ideal, but not a deal breaker. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave that as it is because it's not that big of a deal up there. Um, you could just put some pictures or something on this page and do your journaling onto something else and then stick it over it or something. So, yeah, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to say this one's pretty well done. Um Oh, you know what? We could use we could do cuz I don't love this either. Well, we need to have a a closure. So, what kind of closure should we do? I'm wondering how much should we do the chartreuse? Mm, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, maybe. 
maybe it has to be this one. <laughs> it's just so pretty. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Okay. Sorry. Noisy, noisy things. Put that away. Oh, we got to put our bookmark in. Almost forgot about that. Let's see. What page should we put it on? How about this page? You can just stick it right in there. sticks out. So we've got our yellow, we've got our little bits of things, we've got pink there, we've got little bits of colors kind of all over. Um, and then, you know what I might do is somehow attach this one to the uh, thing that goes around the whole thing. So. And I'll just make this a loose one. Let's wrap it around a few times. And we'll cut it about there. Okay. So, let me pull that just a little bit. all kinds of other colors of sorry silk stuff on here. <laughs> oh, I might not have given myself enough. Or I just wrapped it around too many times. That's what I did. Okay. Because I'm trying to make a bow in the... right here. Or... no, let's do it here. On the cover. There we go. We'll do something like that. And then, whoops, no, don't do that. There we go. And then this will be done. Cute. Really, really cute. I really, really like this journaling, guys. <laughs> I really, really do. And that kind of hangs down the spine there. Um, so... There will be a flip through of this soon. Um, I'm actually right now going to stop filming and start working on the next journal journals. Um, not sure how many there will be. Whatever I use up from this um, will be in the other journals and papers and whatnot. So um, I'll do those on my own and then hopefully we'll have a flip through of all of that. Um, sometime this weekend um, is my goal. And then Halloween, I think. Uh, so, anyway, this has been really fun. I hope you really enjoyed it. I know I did. This is just like right up my alley. Soft colors. My perfect kind of fall, fall kind of journal. Um, so, anyway, I will see you all very soon. Bye.